Hi everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome to my channel, Mama D Reacts. Um, hope you're a subscriber. If you're not, working up to 500 by January 1st, so I don't have much t uh, much more time. Uh, I think I'm at a 402. So I need 98 subscribers by the end of the year. Come on, you guys. I can. You guys can do it. Come on. I know you can. So we're gonna watch the season finale of Watchmen season one and um, uh, we'll see what happens they captured Dr. Manhattan last episode and I guess we'll see what happens on this one find out a lot of uh, loose ends that we've been waiting for like who's Dr. Uh, Lady True's uh, father and um, you know we'll see what happens with this uh, uh, transfer of power from Dr. Manhattan so um, to the Seven Calvary guy. So, this should be exciting. Let's go. Right, action. Hello, Robert. Adrian Vike here. Assuming my instructions have been followed to the letter, today is January 21st, 1993, and you were just inaugurated. Allow me to be amongst the very first to say congratulations to President Redford. Nuclear holocaust between the United States and Russia is imminent. And the only way to stave off mankind's extinction. That looks like BN all grown up. That's True's mama, I bet you. Yep, she's gonna artificially inseminate herself. Get out of Dodge. Fuck you, Ozymandias. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> See how they fly. Yeah, that's the name of it. Two thousand and eight. What? Mr. Light, I'm sorry to bother you. I was hoping I could talk. I don't talk to fans. I don't care how long it's taking you to get to do I'm talking And you may certainly not use my restaurant. Okay. You killed three million people. Back in 85, you manufactured a transdimensional being and then teleported it to New York City. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. That's a brilliant. A giant alien squid to save off nuclear holocaust. Only the smartest man in the world could come up with that. Oh, now she's... And no one even gives you credit for it. Compliment him. Who are you? Right. Well, Mr. Vite, I'm the smartest woman in the world. I just wanted to thank you. For some tea. <laughs> Redford won't even return my call. He said he would have won even without my help. As if some cowboy actor could attain the presidency. <laughs> Little jab at Reagan there. I tell it, Bob, it's got us here. That altitude, even the most trained meteorologists can't tell the difference between the clouds that settle upon us and the tropical storm. How do you decide where to drop them? I don't decide. I wrote a randomizing algorithm to tell her out of the sleuths looking for any kind of pattern. But it's a rerun. Excuse me? A rerun. What happens is we're right back where we left off. What if I could make every nuclear weapon on the planet disappear? If that could be done, I'd have already done it. Ah, uh, but you're just a man, Mr. Byte. Ah! You have limitations. And I suppose a woman does. Of course I do. But there is someone with no limitations. You've come here because you think I can get in touch with him on Mars. He's not on Mars. Ah! Going she space. knows. I believe the actual Dr. Manhattan is hiding out on the moon of Jupiter. And what, dear girl, is that belief based upon? Manhattan emits a very specific radioactive frequency. I built a subspace antenna to scan the galaxy and... Wow. I got a pain. So, a few months ago, I launched a probe. And in exactly five years, 72 days, nine hours, and 17 minutes, that probe will be orbiting Europa, taking photo images of the big blue cheese himself and beaming them back here to me. If I can take his power, I've already designed a quantum centrifuge capable of absorbing his energy so I can transfer it into me. I just can't afford to build the thing. So... I was hoping you would stake me forty-two billion dollars. Forty-two billion? And why would you hope that? Because I'm your daughter. 
It's impossible. Why? For one, because I've never given myself to a woman. Ever? Like Alexander the Great, I believe such hedonistic activity is a distraction. Alexander my the Great. That's him right there. And the refrigerated vault with all your vials of cum. <laughs> That's behind Alexander? Right? Hi. I'm sample 2346. But you can call me True. Oh, what a shocker. Her name was Bian. She was one of the Vietnamese refugees working here in 85. She shot herself up with some of your legacy and slipped out into the night. And you didn't even notice she was gone because she was just a cleaning woman. She was not just a cleaning woman. She was a thief. <laughs> Your genius wasn't given. Stolen. You have the audacity to come here for a handout. When my parents died, I inherited wealth beyond imagining. And I gave it away. Because I wanted to demonstrate that I could achieve anything, starting from nothing. That is what I offer you. Nothing. <laughs> oh, don't worry, she'll... And I will never call you daughter. Man, I don't know about that. We'll see. It's a rotted old piece of cake. Uh-oh. Oh, he's ready to roll with his horseshoe. <laughs> I wonder how many years it took him to dig that hole with the horseshoe. Master Bite, return to your cells. What made me do this? Alas, I must make you do it. Stop! No. Stop! I will not. Whoa! He caught it! <laughs> he caught it with his hand. He just walks right over. Master! Master, look out! I will not let you go! Oh, he stabbed him with the horseshoe. Get out. You're bleeding all over his cool outfit. <laughs> That's not nice. What are they all going to do when they don't have somebody to worship? His little purple shoes. Yes. Hello, Adrian. Welcome aboard. Please prepare for launch in five, four, three, two, one. Whoa. That's a cool shot. Wow. Artificial gravity enabled. Leaving atmosphere. Whoa. How cool is that shot? That's neat. <gasps> Save me daughter, that's what I said. Launch successful. He waited those years and she saw it. Adrian, your return journey to Earth has begun. She to told him that she was sending that satellite in so many years. Please step into the chamber. So he knew that. Wow. Excellent. Good night. He's been in that statue that whole time. I wondered about that. I wondered about that. I figured he was her dad, but I didn't know how he was going to get back there. She had him in that statue, in that bazaar. Pretty surprised when the images from the curve came back. And I saw you. 
And your message. Yeah, because he said he was... For those bodies that you made the letters with. Uh-huh. Wow, there must be a cool story behind that. <laughs> but the fact that you took the time to spell out daughter mm -hmm. meant a lot to be acknowledged. Especially since you said you never would. Exactly. To humble yourself like that. Right. Dad. Dad. <laughs> Oh, you're way behind. She knows it. Oh, I've known about that for a while now. <laughs> I'm going to destroy him and absorb his power in about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> you found your message. I told you he might say something. Right. The Millennium Clock is now activated. All routine personnel, please report to the transport base. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at that, looking like a halo. She really thinks she's going to be God, huh? Robert Redford is still president. <laughs> wow, that's, that's wild looking. It's the end, my friend. The end is nigh. Oh, there's my truck. I want one of them. Cadillac Estate. Cyclops. Jesus, that's Senator Keene Sr., isn't it? Never would have had him pegged as a secret racist. Shut up. Right. We got a situation. Stay cool. Don't look at me. It's looking glass. I said don't look at me. That's where that other mask went. As soon as I get a chance, I'll get us out of here. You're okay? <laughs> it's looking glass. She's These fuckers brought me here for the bone mansion and showed up at my house to try and kill me. I came back to get something. What the fuck's going on here? Who's the cage for? Take the shot, goddammit! Whoa! There he is. She's still in love with him. She ain't seen him in 20 something years, right? I got you. You blue fuck. Where is he? You can't stop him. We've got him. Oh, oh! She's cracking fingers. Then I'm gonna start on your motherfucking teeth now. Where is he? Thirty-four years ago, Adrian Veidt unleashed his monster on the world. All we wanted was to get cops masks, take some power back, start ourselves a little culture war. But then three years ago, the White Knight, we sent out a bunch of our guys to get the war rolling. And it goes exactly as planned until my phone rings. It's Michael, and he's all fucked up. He tells me he's calling from a payphone in Gila Flats, New Mexico. And that makes no sense at all, because I just saw Mike half hour before he drove off to shoot some cops here in Tulsa, so I said, Mike. How the fuck are you in Gila Flats, New Mexico? I got a teleport. He got teleported. Now, there's only one fella who can zap people wherever he wants, and it just so happens he was born in Gila Flats. Dr. Man, the most powerful being in the world, incognito, delivered unto us right here in Oklahoma. How can that be? The thermodynamic mirror. <laughs> Bars are made of synthetic lithium. The only way to get it is from old watch batteries. We had to melt down a zillion of them to make a case this fucker couldn't get out of. And now. That's what they did with the batteries. Okay. Oh, she's really excited. Judd got killed. I couldn't resist. But an Asian blade down here. See, she actually used to be the Doc here's girlfriend. Seems only fair someone who cares about him should be here when he dies. 
You look stupid in those panties. <laughs> I'm about to become the most powerful man alive, Lori. Waving my dick in people's faces is just overkill. <laughs> Stop! <clears throat> Do not get in there. Angela, whatever you think is going to happen when you turn this thing on, it's not going to happen. And how do you even know what we're doing here? Because Lady True knows. True just told me an hour ago that you were going to try this and that she was going to stop you. If she wants to stop me, where the hell is she? She's all over your power source. These batteries. We stole those from her work. Because she let you. Right. You can either watch me do it, or I can have my guys put you down like the black bitch you are and spare you the misery. Ooh. You racist ass. Ugh. Thank you. Right. And then y'all will be dead. Whoa! Wow. That was a psychic blast. Man. Probably broke everybody's eardrums. Yep, there she is. Oh, awesome. Magnets. Wow. These are Yeah. This is For a pleasant surprise. Oh, shit. <laughs> <We're> dead. <laughs> no. Hey, where's Senator Keene? Let's let him out, shall we? He's not going to want to miss this. Oh! Gross. Right. Oh. Wow. He just melted. Oh. Good. Absorbing atomic energy without filtering it first is going to pop you like a water balloon. Evidently. You represent the senior leadership of Cyclops, an organization that has terrorized and victimized men, women, and children of color for a century, including this very place. The site mm -hmm. of the Greenwood Massacre of 1921. He's getting his he justice. And pillaged and murdered in the name of white supremacy. Your crime just do you bitch. Excuse me? We don't want to hear your little speech. You just bitch. Do it. Sure. Do what? Ha! You're gonna kill us, right? Of oh course. yeah. Of course I am. Good. All right, just do it then. Kill all them bastards. Wow. Wow. Oh, don't touch the... Oh, he's going to touch the blood. Oh, wow. Where are we? Connor, this is my office. How the fuck would he send us to your office? Save the day, of course. You sent them somewhere to help? Yes. Then why didn't you send me? Because I don't want to be alone when I die. Aww. Aww. Whoa. He knows. <laughs> he keeps track of that. Tulsa, Oklahoma, locked and locking. You have to fight. I can't hold myself together. You have to try. Oh. No. I need to move away. It's not safe. I'm not moving away. I'm here. Oh. I'm staying. You have to stay. No. Die. Die. Come back. Where are you? I'm in every moment. Aww. We were together. All at once. Oh. I love you, Angela. Oh. Here 
go. Wow. Wow. 48 degrees. Turn it down to 22. Exactly. 22. What the fuck are you doing? Baby squids. I designed them to be harmless, to dissolve shortly after impact. If I freeze them before transport, it'll be like firing a Gatling gun from the heavens. What's she going to do with this power once she's got it? She claims she's going to fix the world. How do you know she won't? Because she is clearly a raging narcissist whose ambition knows no limits. Like her daddy? Literal hubris. That girl will not rest until she has us all prostrate before her, kissing her tiny blue feet. What? Raging wow. narcissist, huh? Opus, <laughs> essay, unum, unum conoscenti. Takes one to no one. <laughs> See? Yeah. Everyone, everything within five square blocks is about to be obliterated. Ooh. Oh my God. That went straight through her hand. Wow. Here they come. Yeah, bye bye. Oh, wow. That's where we all started this at. In 1921 at the Dreamland Theater. Wow. What a way to end it. Does she even realize? Oh, yeah, she knows. Cause he told her that he tran teleported the kids to the Dreamland Theater with her grandpa. The kids are sleeping good. They got the wind knocked out of Willie's hat in here. <laughs> he knew he was going to die. You take my pills. <laughs> when I was sitting in this exact spot, the most last thing I saw before my world ended it was Bad Reeves, the mm -hmm. Black Marshall of Oklahoma. Black Marshall of Oklahoma. 15 That's... feet tall and flickering black and white. I just realized. Just in the law, he said, and then he took his name after Tulsa Bird. He sure did. Reeves. He was my hero. That's why I became a cop. There was a reason Bass Reeves. Hid his face. Mm-hmm. So, what did mine do? Yep. Hid it justice. Yep. Mm. The what? When I put it on, you felt what I felt. Anger. And that's what I thought, too. But it wasn't. It was fear. Oh. Hurt. Oh. You can't heal under a mask, can you? Right. Need air. Yes, they do. Aww. He wanted me to give him up. He told me you tried to save him, but this was the way it had to be. If you can't make an album without breaking a couple of eggs. Ooh. What the hell is that supposed to mean? That's just something he said. We'll bring that way back then. He said you'd understand when the time was right. Well, I don't. The timing, right? <laughs> Bah! <laughs> oh. He's going to stay up You're there? You're with us. Excuse me? You killed three million people, Adrian. You're under arrest. Oh. Ah. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. Again. And you have the audacity <laughs> Talks too much. <laughs> it surely fucking does. Uh oh. <gasps> There's one left. Did he put his power in there? Oh my gosh. So that's the thing you can do. Give someone your powers. I suppose I could. That was what he meant. She'll know it when she. Into some sort at of the right time. Material. Wow. If consume it, they would inherit, as you call them, my powers. <laughs> yep, she's gonna do it. You need some lotion on them ashy feet, sister. Ryan. 
season two, season two, Bien is still alive, so she could cause some issues. And is Angela going to get his power now? Wow, I can't wait. I haven't heard if they, you know, said they're going to have a season two, but they have to. They just have to. That was interesting. Um, sad that John had to leave. And will he come back as he really did? So there's several things we got to get answered in season two. So um, with that, please subscribe and click the bell for notifications. And we will see you on the next video. Peace out.